<laughs> I'm struggling with this one. Morning all. Um, now, this, I wrote this one uh, yesterday evening, last night, and um, I didn't record it because I've been trying, <laughs> I've been rehearsing it, trying to get it right. A lot of words in it. Um, so here we go. It's about food. I'm sure you won't be surprised by that. And uh, it's about bygles. I'm not sure you'd be too surprised at that either. But uh, here we go. And it's called Again with the Bygles. Goes like this. I would have bought some bygles from the Brick Lane Bygle Bake. And I brought them home and had them for me tea. A nice salt beef and mustard. And when that was done and dusted, I spread another one with dairy leaf. I put some in the freezer as a little breakfast teaser. Because I like to have them toasted with some jam. And Mary likes them anyway, and now we're both all home all day, we might have some for lunch, perhaps with ham. Now I only bought a dozen, and I'm well aware that doesn't go too far when you divide it up by two. But our freezer's pretty full right now with frozen peas and cauliflower and a leg of lamb, some carrots and, and a stew. But my favourite is the Bible, and although it's in the Bible where it says that man can't live on bread alone... I'd soon get bored with frozen veg and even with that lamb's left leg without a stock of bygles here at home. So I guess I'll go back down Brick Lane and queue outside the bake again where social distancing avoids the grief. I'll get another dozen and without a long discussion, I'll get another fresh one with salt beef. <laughs> God bless. Have a good day.